Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for this Independence Day. Thank you, God, for the freedom we have. No matter, even though our country is not perfect, we thank you, God, for the freedom we have in of democracy in our country. And help us, Father God, to take advantage of the freedom we have and to not uh, abuse it. All right, we'll read... Uh, chapter on human trafficking because of this movie that came out today called Sound of Freedom with the same guy with the guy named Jim Caviezel who played Jesus in the movie Passion the movie Passion for Christ movie um, anyways feel free to check the link below and, or link to the link <laughs> and I chose the book of Micah chapter 6 which I haven't read from the book at all of I haven't done a video yet and it's one of many Bible verses on a theme of the unfortunate human trafficking people call it modern slavery um, so I'll read from Micah chapter 6 in the Old Testament one of the minor prophets Adonai pleads his case arise contend with the mountains, and let the hills hear your voice. Hear Adonai's dispute, O mountains, the enduring foundations of the earth. For Adonai has a dispute with his people, and he will argue his case with Israel. O my people, what have I done to you? O, or how have I wearied you? Answer me, when I brought you up from the land of Egypt, and redeemed you from the house of bondage I sent before you, Moses, Aaron, Miriam. O oh, my people, remember, please, what did Balak, king of Moab, pro purpose, propose? What did Balaam, son of Beor, answer him? From Shittim, as far as Gilgal, so that you might acknowledge the righteous acts of Adonai. The next chapter, section theme, verse 6. What is Adonai seeking from you? With what shall I come before Adonai? What, what, with what shall I bow myself before God on high? Shall I present him with burnt offerings, with year-old calves? Will Adonai be pleased with thousands of rams, with hordes of rivers of oil? Shall I offer my firstborn for my transgression? the fruit of my belly for the sin of my soul. He has told you, humanity, what is good, and what Adonai is seeking from you, only to practice justice, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. The voice of Adonai calls to the city. It is wisdom to fear your name. Pay attention to the rod and to the one who appointed it. Does the house of the wicked still have treasures of wickedness, or is it an undersized effa denounce can I be pure with wicked balances or with a bag of deceptive weights for the rich of the city are full of violence and its inhabitants speak lies their tongue in their mouth is deceit so also I will strike you severely desolating you because of your sins you will eat but not be satisfied and emptiness will be within you you will try to escape but you will not reach safety Whatever you made safe, I will give to the sword. You will sow, not, but not reap. You will tread olives, but not anoint yourself with oil. And grapes, but not drink wine. Now you observe the statutes of Mamre, and every practices of the house of Ahab. And you will walk in their counsels. Therefore I will make you a horror, and their inhabitants of hissing. So you will bear the scorn of my people. And that's verse 16. Of Michael chapter 6, one of many Bible verses on a theme of human trafficking. Lord, we pray that the people that cause to these human traffickers, these human traffickers will stop. We pray for your Holy Spirit to intervene. And those who are being consumption of buying children for sex will stop so that these human traffickers will not do their business. Whatever cause, whatever causes these people to even want to have sex with kids, Lord, we pray that you intervene and just 
uh, Holy Spirit intervene what, uh, on, on what's going on, and we pray, Father God, for your Holy Spirit to intervene, because you're the only one that can uh, uh, stop this through your people, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Give voice to the voiceless, Lord, as in mentioned Psalm 82. And we pray, Father God, f f that you raise up people to stop this. In Jesus' name, come, Lord Jesus, come. Come and let your presence fall in these places. Come and let your presence fall in uh, people that even think twice about getting involved with human sex trafficking not just children but uh, women and uh, even men too probably uh, and organ donors using kids for organs oh man there's a lot of just stuff that I watched on this on videos bless this movie Lord we pray Father God that use this movie called um, Sound of Freedom for your glory and that there will be justice in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen. We pray for those who have been victims of sex trafficking. We pray for your, that you give them healing. And whoever suffers for post-traumatic stress, we pray for your healing touch on them. In Yeshua's name, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah.